Another type of grouping you can perform is to actually put numbers into the row labels. So the best way to explain it, this is with an example. I'm just going to pull the destination network out. And you'll notice we've put the bill which contains the costs into values, but I'm actually going to take that same one, click and hold, and put it into rows. Now what it's done is it looks a bit messy at the moment, but effectively it's gone and looked at every single phone call and identified all the unique prices per phone call. So just to explain it better, if you look down here, that 75 cents call, what it's saying is it found 74 rands worth of 75 cents calls. So it's gone and identified all the unique ones, listed them here and then shown the impact on your in your data. Now that's not particularly useful, but what you can do is if I right click on it now and say group, I then have the ability to group these things together. So for example I can say start at 0, end at the 36, so Excel has guessed those, and I'm going to tell it to group it in groupings of 5. So when I say OK, it is now showing all phone calls between 0 and 5 Rand and how much they cost. 5 and 10, how much they cost. So you can create some form of a histogram using this technique. And again, I can come here and maybe 5 is too many, 5 Rand is too many. So let's make it 10. And now we're down to 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40. So you can create bands or groupings using the underlying numbers to get a sense of the type of calls being made in this case. To remove the grouping, again, it's very easy. You click, you right click, you say ungroup, and you're back to the raw data. Just with this one, you've got to be a little bit careful because if your pivot table or your database is very big, when you drag it into here, it may just have too many different events to try and remember. So sometimes this will not always work depending on the size of your data.